Hey, what up, everybody? Have you ever been to a website where it is asking you, demanding you to disable your ad blocker in order to view the context of the page? And you can't do nothing, right? The 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 window's pretty much frozen, right? It's doesn't allow you to do anything until you disable ad blocker. And then hit refresh and you're good to go, right? And it works. But today we're gonna use our HTML and CSS skills to hack around this and get what we want, which we wanna see the context without disabling ad blocker. There's a reason why I have an ad blocker. I don't want you to take my data. <laughs> so let's get started. So there's this, um, I actually found this page, um, Business Insider. You go ahead and refresh it, right? To kind of show everybody. So as we refresh this page, so the first thing you may notice is there is this model that pops up, you know, pretty much telling you about the ad blocker. It ultimately wants you to disable the ad blocker to continue. Uh, the second piece is we have this bottom banner. This is easy. We could just click X to remove that. So that's fine. Then of course the third section is this is all kind of like whited out, right? It's kind of white transparency background. Um, you can see a little bit of the words, but not as clear, right? You can see a little bit of the image, but again, not as clear. Um, but we're going to tackle this in three phases. First phase is let's go ahead and remove this model. Just just kind of show you I can't scroll up and down, right? So if you look at my mouse, it's not moving, it's not doing anything. First thing what we're gonna do, we're gonna right click, inspect the page. Just by right clicking it, it kind of throws us under this this div class of model initiate. Um, and there it goes, add blocker intercept. I got it, you're trying to block us from your page, but it ain't gonna work. So ultimately, one of the patterns that I have seen, um, not just with Business Insider, but other you know, web pages that are pretty much trying to do the, or they are doing the same thing, right? Is It's an iframe, it's an iframe, it's an iframe. It looks very messy, a lot of layers, so, Knowing that, knowing that the pattern that I've seen before, the iframe was an iframe was an iframe, kind of let me start off by going going to another top level, right? So here's another div. Um, let me go up some more. Here's our first iframe. Okay. So iframe number one. So let me keep scrolling up. I expect this iframe to maybe be in with another iframe. Let's see though. And we have the body, the head, HTML class, document, and here's our second iframe, right, that I see. And this is what's in the div here, another div. All right, so let, let me see. Got the iframe, which, which is that model that we're looking at. If I go up another level, this is the div that holds that iframe, right? So that, that's important. Now let's, then if I go one more level, this is very interesting. So they even named the class TP model, right? It pretty much tells us, hey, this is the model. I mean, this is the, you know, they're making it very obvious to us what to look for. Then we have another iframe. Uh, this iframe may belong to that. But again, for right now, I'm just worried about this piece. So I'm going to go ahead and do a right click and I'm going to delete the element. So one of the things that you notice is that model's gone because we removed it, right? We removed the element. It's no longer there. So step one is done. We were able to eliminate that model that was blocking our view. Now, second step is we need to remove this white transparency layer, right? That's kind of over the page. 
So I'm just going to right click anywhere, right? Do another inspect. Um, so the first thing that I notice is it takes me to a div class of TP backdrop. You know, backdrop again, this is this white layer probably the backdrop which makes sense kind of matches there it goes TP backdrop we have a background of being white a white background got one one um, style down but now we have a dark layer right a dark transparency layer so now if I go down there's another TP backdrop same thing in this case is black which is what we're seeing so I'm going to eliminate that. So now we can see our page. So two steps down, we removed our model. Now we can actually see our page. So that's awesome. Now the thing about it though, we can't, I can't scroll the page. It's pretty much frozen. Again, if you look at my mouse, it's not moving. So now we need to fix this issue. Why is this not scrolling up and down? So because it's freezing the whole page, I actually want to go to the highest level possible, right? I don't want to. I don't want to look with, within the within the iframe or with the iframe within the iframe or the body within the iframe. I actually want to look at the most highest level body. Is what I'm. It's my starting point because this whole page is frozen. That's kind of where I'm going to start. I want to look at that that tag first, the body, to see if there's anything that is. Um, preventing this page to not to be scrollable. So that's where I'm going to start. Um, all right. So I think I'm, yeah. So I got my HTML tag, got my head, then I got my body. So I'm going to click on the body. First thing that I notice, overflow hidden important. Again, this is not a CSS course. I'm not going to detail what important means. That's something that you could Google, do your own research, but ultimately this takes precedence of any other overflow that may exist uh, within the um, within the page. So this is interesting, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck overflow. And there you go. Now this page became scrollable. So really, as you could tell, Business Insider wanted to prevent us from viewing this page unless we disable our, our ad blocker and we figured out how to bypass their methods of blocking us out. And now we could read our article, right? Again, they were trying to block us from viewing this page. We were able to hack our way around it. Now we could see the context that we wanted to see. And you could actually do this for any other page. What we just did right now, you could replicate to other pages. Different tags, of course, some of the same patterns, you know, the overflow um, styling, for example, is one that I have noticed that it's used for other websites as well. Same thing with the background, right? So we had the, the white transparent background and the black transparent background same patterns i've been seeing those patterns in other websites as well those of y'all who are new to it who have not done this before try it out if you have a website that you're having trouble with on doing this you know what send it over we'll you know we'll do a video about it and we'll hack our way to that website as well so let me know your comments hit the like button and let me know if there's any other sites that we need to hack our way through. Peace.